my first impression was that it was a really beautiful, um, fantastical story. You know, um, it it felt like um, a real exploration for George in terms of the the films we know him for. It just felt like a little deviation, for a little bit, but at the heart of it was. Um, a, a great story with with heart and um, uh, vision and um, a real sort of sense of um, nostalgia and history, uh, beauty. Um, I was I was quite moved by it. <laughs> Tilda has been like an incredible partner, just an incredible. She's an amazing actor. Um, a, a, a complete majestic figure, right? But not only that, she can really boil down into the very granular details of collaboration, you know, even down to our words that we're each saying. Uh, we, did, we did many, many round tables over possibly three years now, almost, um, about this character, about this story, about their relationship and such. And so uh, working with Tilda was everything I thought it would be and more. I mean, a complete sort of gem of a, of a, of a, of a working relationship, I think. Tilda and I were keen to make sure that the language, the, 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 the story really affects the audience in a way that the audience will go, I wonder what I would have done. I wonder what, not, you know. Um, and, and, and George is really like, one of the things I learned a lot about from George is about storytelling and how to connect with the audience, you know. Just small details from how often an actor who's talking looks away. And while he looks away for those two seconds, does he lose the audience or are they drawn in for more? The, just the tiniest details that really became this sort of mosaic of information that started to feed our his vision and feed our our our, um, our performances this is a gin that felt human emotion you know this is a gin that started to fall in love this is a gin that started to fall into desire um he's he's immortal so it's very uncharacteristic for him to start to fall in love, share human emotion, wants and desires in the way that he did. And it was that that began to unravel his journey. So these stories were, you know, they're placed in the film as a way of giving Alethea a little background, but in truth for him, you know, this is therapy. <laughs> it's the stories we tell each other that shape all of this. At some point, someone said, hey, wouldn't it be great to build a skyscraper? That's a story. It's not a reality. It's like, what? A building that goes up to the sky and we can all be up there? That's like flying. Yeah, it'd be like flying, but it would save space. So of going that way, we go up. It's a story. It's an idea told as a story. And it's that that has built what we are today, right? It's like when you have a child or you try and teach your child something, you use stories to do that. 